So approximately one in 300 children in North America have cerebral palsy, and it's estimated that one-sixth of those children are dependent on a head or neck support device for daily life. So Matthew is one of those kids. Hi, I'm Sarah Hendrickson, Matthew Squire's mom, and I was really excited when Emma approached me wondering if she could use Matthew in a project that they were working on. And um, it really ma matters to me because um, one of the challenges for Matthew, he's a very social, happy, engaged little guy. However, in his chair, there's a lot of barriers because of his headrest. Um, the barriers for Matthew would be just the basic sitting safe in his chair. The back of his chair rubs his neck and actually created a hot spot for Matthew. Um, also socially, um, interacting with his peers at school, listening to the lectures at school. So our solution to Matt's problem involves the development of a hat that will support Matt's head in a natural sitting position. Emma noticed one day that the only way to hold his head up straight in this position was with her hands. So our solution to this problem attempts to mimic how a person would hold Matt's head up. And in doing so, we're using 3D printed NinjaFlex material that have elastic recovery that supports his head during periods of high muscle tone. There are different grades of cerebral palsy. Matthew is a stage five on the gross motor functioning classification system. There are approximately 9,600 persons with cerebral palsy in Canada that might benefit from neck stabilization technology. When Emma came to me and talked about, um, you know, what I thought was a struggle or a barrier for Matthew, for me it was the headrest. So I'm really excited to see um, how that might be overcome with this new prototype. 